Belle is waiting for his husband to go to her grandmother birthday party together, and her husband asked if his mother and father-in-laws have arrived at the party. When they reach the birthday party, many guests have also seemed to arrive, and they were telling the couples that they arrive late and should have come early since it's their grandmother birthday today. Then Belle apologized for their tardiness. After that, the crowd gathered around them and started questioning and asking if that's the unemployed husband behind her. The crowd was rushed with doubt and questions. If he does all the household chores alone, then they said that they hire maids to do all those, and that Bella is lucky to have her husband do everything. And then Belle Cousin appeared to the crowd and called out her husband's name, Christian Hyagwood, asking if that really is the gifts for Granny's birthday. Kristen admitted that it's true, and said it's the gift he picked from the gift shop himself. Hoyt and everyone on the scene started laughing out loud saying if it's some kind of a joke to him and continued that if the tasteless gift is for the granny reaching her 80th birthday. The cousin started comparing Christian gifts to his and asked if he has any idea how much it cost him. 880,000 bucks, he said. He continued telling Bell that he's not bragging and why he would tolerate a total loser. The cousin think that Christian isn't even making an effort by choosing a cheap and tasteless gifts for her granny, and said that even Bella should have known better, and not let her good-for-nothing husband to mess up. The cousin told Belle that she has spent so much time with her loser husband, that she has also become the same loser as him. Then the husband interrupted, asking if it's real, by putting the premium tea on his hands. Christian says this pure tea smells a bit stale. Hoyt panic, snatched the tea and turned guilty, and said not to touch the tea with his stinking hands. Christian knew that the gift were fake since he learned that from one of his friends and said to Hoyt why he is gifting that fake thing to the granny. Right after that, the granny appear in the crowd asking what's the fuss about that she's missing out on. Belle asked her husband if he really knew a thing about the tea and said she didn't want any humiliation or trouble on their way then Christian said to Bella to relax. Then Belle pointed out that the tea Hoyt gifts for the granny was fake, and asked the granny to look into it if it's real or fake. Granny took the tea box and asked to check. Of course, she may look like a good granny, but maybe she's the one giving the couples the hardest time. Hmm, she said. Then she analyzed and said this, then paused a bit, contemplating whether she's going to lie or not. Then she replied to Christian Hagwood that the tea is real. Then Hoyt was shocked and happy. Hoyt was nervously delight that he won and said Granny has checked and it's a real deal. But actually, it was fake. Granny favored the cousin more than Belle who married a good-for-nothing husband. The couples were never given a break whether in work or at their home. Now, the crowd believed that Christian lied and tried to stir up trouble in front of their granny to look good by humiliating Hoyt. Then Hoyt once again said to Granny to ignore the clueless Christian. The crowd asked Christian to apologize to Hoyt. However, Christian didn't give in and asked Granny to take a closer look at the tea gifted by Hoyt. But then Belle slapped Christian. Belle ordered Christian to apologize to Hoyt and said you've already said enough. Granny's word are absolute. If she said something, then of course, all the family members must carry it out, even the couples because they are not that influential enough to go against her or the other family members. Yes, you may think Belle was acting very badly towards her husband, but in fact both of them were in a similar situation, and she had to do this in order to calm down the clamor. When the birthday party was over both of them returned home, and Belle mother started to lecture her daughter saying if Belle was same enough to spend the rest of her lives with that loser that is her husband Belle replied that she's perfectly sane and she knows what she's doing. Bell said Christian works hard, and he knows his place. Bell also said that Christian has been taking care of all the household chores over the three years ago. Bell also said that Christian is her husband, and she didn't deny that she resent him, and that she could never hate her husband. Their marriage was a bit complicated because it was not made out of love, but only from the request of a man that is Bella grandfather right after two months of their wedding, the grandfather died leaving no clue as to why Bella and Christian must marry. The reason forever remains a mystery along with the grandfather. When Bell was about to get changed, 
Simone came from the door and entered. Bell was surprised and said that he should have knocked. Christian called Bell and tried to reach out to her, since she cried and was sad. He caressed Bell's cheek and asked if Bell wants Christian to change. Bell shouted to Christian if he can tell her what to say. She continued saying that is what she wished for him to change. Bell weep harder and continued that Christian have said in the birthday party that only Bell can make Christian change. Christian said that Bell is right and that only Bell is worthy enough for him to change. Bell cried harder and said she's sick of being looked down upon. Bell poured all her sorrows to Christian that she has the right to be treated with dignity and want them to regret how they've treated them and asked if Christian understands her. Christian replied yes to Bell by giving a cold glare that he will surely make them pay for every suffering they have faced. Bell was actually looked down upon not only in her home and relatives but also at her own workplace. She was also constantly annoyed by her cousin Hoyt. So Bell husband Christian is determined to make everyone pay for hurting his wife by teaching them a lesson they can never forget. He turned to be a bad guy and give others a hard time to make his wife free of stress and sadness and climb up the social ladder quickly so that he will continue to crush the bad ones. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications.